Um, greetings, greetings, greetings. Time to talk about another really cool article, another latest and greatest article. Um, <clears throat> this one really surprised me. I uh, wasn't expecting this. As for those of you who followed my work, you know I just have a, a love affair with copper and certainly it's um, protein, ceruloplasma. And I've, I've known of several different enzyme expressions that this protein is able to, to uh, provide. The limitation we have is that when commercial labs are not allowed to reveal the enzyme expressions for any aspect of the ceruloplasma protein, which is an intriguing thought. Um, and I've come to regard uh, ceruloplasma as the constitutional law of mammalian ph physiology. That's how much, that's how important it is. And no lawyer would consider going into a courtroom if they didn't know constitutional law. And maybe within my lifetime, no physician would consider talking to a patient without understanding their ceruloplasmin constitution. That, that would be my ultimate goal. But the article I want to talk about is by uh, Dr. Samse, never heard of him. Uh, it was done in 1993. And what I want to do is share some some highlights from that article. This is the article from 1993, the effect of age on the activity of ceruloplasma of human blood. And here's the catch: ceruloplasma or any any protein that expresses enzymes can be measured two ways. You can measure the height of it, how how many units of that protein are in the blood, and the other is how intelligent is it? What's the IQ of that protein in terms of its ability to express itself? <clears throat> Ceruloplasma is unique in that it uh, has multiple expressions, but the, the fascinating part about the study was that they chose to zero in on amino oxidase when Almost all the time, uh, clinicians and scientists are focusing on ferrooxidase. But in this particular case, amino oxidase is very important for managing neurotransmitters, uh, ma managing a lot of important chemicals in the function of the, of the body. And what they're really keying in on is the age-dependent decrease in ceruloplasma activity uh, that it, expressed itself as they studied 120 different people in Hungary from the ages of 45 to 102, what they discovered is that there is this uh, impact of aging on the enzyme expression, but surprisingly, it didn't have anything to do with the level of copper, which was particularly uh, unique in its findings. So what we've got here is an expression of um, a bovine expression of this amino oxidase compared to three adult men. Uh, number one is 45 years old, number two is 70 years old, and number three is 102 years old. And what you'll see is the difference in expression between the cow and the humans, which is fascinating to think about. Um, is there, can we get ceruloplasm from our milk drinking, especially if it's unprocessed? It's a very intriguing thought. But what you'll see is a no, notable drop in expression from the age of 45 to 102. In fact, it's a 30% drop in expression. Why is this important? Well, a fever, which we're all familiar with, a fever is going from 98.6 to 102. 102 is considered a fever. That's a 4% rise in um, temperature. Thirty percent drop is seven and a half times a fever, so it's a significant change in activity and expression in the body. And then what they did was they plotted 
all of the 120 people, and you can see this negative regression line. But as you get older, your ability to express this enzyme is going to go down. Now, what was um, very surprising, though, uh, when you get into the literature, you find that the um, one of the requirements to make cerulopan is to have copper. You gotta have copper. You gotta have ruts and all. You gotta have a number of things. But, but copper in particular is unique. Uh, potassium is also very important, as as we know. And then uh, the the retinol is what activates the the copper pumps, but it has a decided impact in uh, the production of cerulopan as well. And then what they've done is they've compared. Um, the expression of copper and the expression of zinc in these 102 individuals. And you can see that the, the regression line is flat, which means there's no, there's no correlation to age, which is very surprising that the enzyme expression is dropping, but the metal, especially the copper metal, has no, rel has no relationship. And zinc, of course, has no involvement in um, Cerulean expression, but they just wanted to show that uh, mineral's expression. So this is a very important finding that um, the enzyme expression falls off as we age. Thirty percent is significant. And then what I just wanted to leave you with is these are the known enzymes that are expressed by cerulean I think there are many more, but let's just stay with the the documented literature. We know that ferrooxidase, which is critically important for regulating iron, is expressed by ceruloplasma. We have amino oxidase, which is profiled in this article, very important for biogenic amines uh, and neurotransmitters. Superoxide dismutase, well-documented ability of ceruloplasm to express the, the enzyme to neutralize the superoxide that appears in the blood. Lysyl oxidase, which is very important for connective tissue integrity. And then what I learned this morning is glutathione peroxidase, that, that ceruloplasmin has a unique ability to express that antioxidant uh, enzyme that's critically important in lipid peroxidation or preventing lipid peroxidation. So I think we, uh, we got a tiger by the tail with this study. Uh, Dr. Semse has quite a few articles that I'm uncovering now that I'm going to be digging in, but just thought I'd give you a little uh, hors d'oeuvre about some of the important properties of ceruloplasmin, uh, particularly as it relates to the aging process. So thank you for taking the time. Look forward to uh, digging deeper with this subject matter and look forward to your comments and questions going forward. Take care.